The deployment of nearly 20 Max Pro MRAP, mine-resistant ambush-protected, vehicles from the United States is set to bolster the ongoing efforts of the Multinational Security Support Mission, MSS, in Haiti. These vehicles, specifically designed for high-risk environments, are expected to play a crucial role in combating heavily armed gangs that have plagued the Haitian capital, Port-au-Prince, for the past three years. The Kenyan-led security force, commanded by Godfrey Otunge, has made it clear that their mission to stabilize Haiti will not waver until these violent gangs are neutralized or expelled. Commander Otunge, in a recent statement, reaffirmed the contingent's dedication, particularly in light of mounting concerns about the slow progress since their arrival. Haitian Prime Minister Gary Conil had previously expressed frustration with the deteriorating security situation, which worsened following the assassination of President Jovenel Moise in July 2021. Prime Minister Conil, reflecting the concerns of many Haitians, highlighted the urgent need for enhanced international support. He stressed that the current level of assistance was insufficient to restore order in the country, appealing for more financial and military resources. Conil's concerns resonate deeply, as Haiti struggles to regain stability amid rampant gang violence. While acknowledging these frustrations, Commander Otunge expressed optimism that the situation would soon change, thanks in part to the arrival of the armored vehicles. He stressed that this new equipment, particularly the Max Prome Raps, would tip the balance of power in favor of the MSS and the Haitian National Police, HNP, who are working together in joint operations. The armored vehicles have already been deployed in operations targeting three gang-controlled slums, Delmas, Bel Air, and Salino. These areas have been key strongholds for the gangs terrorizing Port-au-Prince. Otunge confirmed that the Max Pro's arrival would significantly enhance the force's capacity to confront these heavily armed criminal groups. Our commitment to decisively address the gang problem in Haiti has just begun, Otunge stated. Clearing operations are currently underway in Delmas, Bel Air, Salino, and surrounding areas, with the aim of restoring normalcy. We thank the U.S. government for responding to our call for more equipment, which has enabled us to carry out sustained joint operations with the Haitian National Police. He further explained that the MSS's strategy involves coordinated operations on land, at sea, and in the air. Street-to-street -street and house-to-house -house operations are central to their plan to systematically dismantle gang networks. Otunge issued a stern warning to gang members, urging them to surrender to authorities before it's too late. The Max Prome wraps represent a significant technological advantage in this fight. These vehicles are engineered to withstand the dangers of conflict zones, offering enhanced protection against threats like mines and improvised explosive devices, IEDs. The Max Pro's V-shaped hull is specifically designed to deflect explosions away from the vehicle, providing critical protection for the crew inside during ambushes or explosions. Each vehicle can carry a crew of two, along with four to six additional soldiers. Though the base model is unarmed, it can be outfitted with roof-mounted weapons such as 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine guns, adding offensive capabilities. The Max Pro measures 6.45 meters in length, 2.59 meters in width, and 3.04 meters in height, with a total weight of around 24 tons. Notable features of the Max Pro include additional optional armor, NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical, protection, and night vision capabilities. It is equipped with a tire inflation system for varying terrain conditions and a front-mounted winch for recovery situations. With a top speed of 105 km per hour and a range of 600 km, the Max Pro is ideal for sustained operations in conflict zones like Haiti. While the MSS's deployment of these vehicles has introduced a new dynamic to the fight against gang violence, the challenges remain substantial. The interim Haitian government, led by Prime Minister Conil, is also tasked with organizing general elections scheduled for February 2026. However, Conil has warned that unless significant improvements in the security situation are made, this timeline could be in jeopardy. For Haiti, restoring order is a prerequisite for both political stability and economic recovery. As the MSS continues its operations with enhanced firepower, there is cautious optimism that the tide could finally turn in favor of peace and security in the troubled nation. The deployment of the Max Prome Raps is a clear indication of the international community's commitment to supporting Haiti, but it is also a reminder that the road to stability will be long and require collective effort from all stakeholders. The people of Haiti are watching closely, hoping that the new equipment and the determination of the MSS will finally break the grip of the gangs, allowing the country to move forward toward lasting peace.